the entrance antiphon. They praised in unison your conquering hand, O Lord, for wisdom opened mouths that were mute and gave eloquence to the tongues of infants. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we continue our Easter journey in this octave of Easter, now celebrating Thursday and heading towards the celebration of Divine Mercy Sunday, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God in the Christ. highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise, praise you, we bless you, you. we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us, as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence, when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One, and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life was put to death, but God raised him from the dead, and, this, and of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did, but God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand, through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment, and send you the Christ already appointed to you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets of old. For Moses said, a prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen and all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him? Or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples recounted to G uh, the di disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way, and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, "Peace be with you." But they were startled and terrified, and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them. Why are you troubled? And why do your do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that is that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. Well, they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed. He asked them, do you have here anything to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, friends, as we join together today in now really are at the halfway point of the octave of Easter, now moving into the fifth day. I think it's always one of those things as we look at that story of our Lord having to almost prove himself to the apostles because as soon as he shows up in their midst right after the story of the road to Emmaus, it says they're incredulous, they think it's a ghost, all these things they can't believe their own eyes. And yet Jesus shows them his hands and his feet. He eats, even eats something in front of them to say, it's really me. It's really me. In the midst of everything that's going on right now, my friends, we might be looking around and going, Lord, where are you? Where are you in the midst of this time of trial? Where are you in the midst of all that is going on? And we may be struggling. We may be battling with so many things that are moving within our own hearts today. But I think our Lord is saying, I'm right here. You know, he's in our midst. He's walking with us. He's trying to show us his hands and his feet to understand that he knows all about suffering, but there comes the Easter Sunday out of that suffering. We need to continue to place our own hearts before the Lord, asking for his trust, asking for that gift of his love and mercy, and not let anxiety roll over us. And indeed, it's very hard. 
because there's so many things tugging at us right now. So many different messages, so many different things we're seeing in the media, so many things we're seeing on a regular basis that just have us concerned and frightened. All of it points back to place it before the Lord. Allow him to speak to your heart. Allow him to speak to the thoughts, the feelings, the desires, the good, the bad, and the ugly, if you will. And let him have that conversation with you in the gift of prayer. Because that will help to bring that calmness of heart. It'll help to bring that peace. And it'll help to bring that joy. Just as it brought the apostles. Just, the other, just as we heard in those scriptures this morning. And that they all came to understand that our Lord had risen from the dead as he opened the scriptures to them. And that there was going to be again that gift of bringing Christ into the world. Through, the, through their mission to come. So for us, my friends, let us put all of our trust into the Lord, allow him to lead us in this time, and find our joy, our strength, and our peace in him who has loved us first. With trust in our Lord and Savior, we now bring our prayers before him this day. that Christians everywhere may share the peace they have found in the risen Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may cast all fear and doubt from the hearts of the newly baptized and all the baptized, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may find hope in the presence of Christ among us during these times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the faithful departed may share everlasting peace among the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our health care workers in the midst of this time where they serve so many who are ill, for all the ill that are suffering in this time, that they may be granted the gift of healing. And finally, for all those who are continuing to struggle in this time of COVID-19, with the restrictions that have been placed upon us, that we all may draw that much closer to the Lord in this time, even in a time of trial. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we remember all the souls in purgatory in the prayer of this liturgy, let us also offer up our own prayers to the Lord in the silence of our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we ask your abundant mercies to be poured out upon us, to strengthen us in this time, and we ask for your mercy and abundance. Help us to find in the midst of these trials your loving goodness beside us and leading us on. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by your Lord and your sacrifice. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. But at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying you destroy, he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. But through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, us Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, O Lord, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. With blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Patrick, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, and your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, 
Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer, however we can, a sign of peace to one another. Anius Dei, qui tolis peccata munti, miserere nobis. Anius Dei, qui tolis peccata munti, miserere nobis. Anius Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Communion Antiphon. O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. My friends, I now invite you to join me in a prayer of spiritual communion. We pray, my Jesus. My Jesus. I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present. In the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment. Since I cannot at this moment. Receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. Unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And for our final prayer, I invite you to join me in the praying of the St. Michael prayer. We pray, St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares, snares of, the of the devil. May God Lord, rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have a great day, everyone.